it is me and my tea. And a very happy Tea Together Tuesday to everyone once again. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've done a video. I've kind of been on a break slash hiatus. So now it's time to film once again and answer two Tea Together Tuesday questions. And the question number one is tea cake. If you were to infuse a cake with a tea, what kind of tea would you use? And I have kind of a conventional tea and a slightly unconventional tea that I think might be really interesting. So for the conventional tea, if you've watched my videos, you know what is inside this blue tin. It is some Earl Grey. And I know that is a um, popular thing to do is to steep maybe Earl Grey or chai teas into um, different kind of baked goods. And just recently I had some Earl Grey infused shortbread cookies and they were just, mwah, they were amazingly delicious. So that is a conventional tea infusion I would do. Slightly unconventional, and I'm not sure if it would work, but I think it would taste really, really good, is this is the Midsummer's Night's Dream Tea from David's Tea. And it is a citrusy mint tea and it has spearmint and gooseberries and it just has this wonderful like s summer like cool summer night f flavor to it it's it's citrusy and fruity and minty all at the same time it is one of the few mint teas i actually drink and i think this might make a really refreshing fruity flavored kind of cake and I think I'd, I'm definitely gonna have to try this. Not sure if it'd work, but I think I will try it. And if it does work, I will let you know. So the second question for this week's Tea Together Tuesday is why is tea important for you? Or, or you know, why do you like tea? What makes it so important to you? And. I don't know, I love the whole process of making tea. I find it very, very calming. The scooping of the leaves, putting it in the infuser, waiting for the tea kettle to boil, pouring, waiting for it to steep, watching the tea leaves open, I find it very therapeutic. And also why it's important to me is when I decided to stop drinking carbonated beverages or pop, tea was what I slowly gravitated to towards. And I love how I can make it as super sweet as I want, as unsweetened as I want. I can make it personal and I can make it what I love. Whether it be, you know, a single scoop of sugar or half a jar of honey. I have done that before. A little jar of honey, but I have done that before. But I love how you can make tea so personalized. And that's why I find it important to me. And my um, tricky assistant it has abandoned me and is now behind the camera, which goes to show you should never work with animals or children. Because they will steal the show. Oh, there we go. Hi, you're back. Okay. Well, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this Tea Together Tuesday. If you want, feel free to answer some of these questions down below or make your own video. Just use the hashtag Tea Together Tuesday. And of course, a big thank you to Jan from Tea with Jan and Kimberly from Tea is a Wish Blog who came up with this wonderful, fun day and all these fun questions. Huh. Hmm. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in checking out another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.